Hello, thank you for joining me today on my channel. Today I am going to show you how to bulk erase a tape, a reel-to-reel -reel tape. We will need a bulk eraser for that, like this one. And how does it work? Well, a reel-to-reel -reel tape, as you might know, is made, of magnet made up of magnetic particles that are kind of modulated in the pattern of the music or audio or whatever is recorded on it. And here you can see it made visual by using tiny magnetic particles suspended in a liquid and then placed on the tape and you see them align with the signal that is on the tape. Now, before you can make a new recording on a tape, the tape will have to be erased or otherwise you will hear uh, the old and the new signal uh, mixed together and most of the time that's not uh, what you want to do. Well, every tape deck has a special head uh, to erase the tape. So when the tape travels from the left to the right, the tape will first encounter the erase head and then the magnetic information that is already on the tape will get wiped and then it will travel along the record head and then a new signal will be recorded and then along the playback head where you can listen to the recording. Make sure the tape gets wiped first. That ensures that you have a clean and undistorted and noise-free recording. How does this erasing work? Well, the erase head uses a strong, very high frequency magnetic field. And the high frequency is around 100 kilohertz. A magnetic field to shake the magnetic particles into a pseudo-random layout where the magnetic particles face every possible direction and thus effectively making the tape unmodulated, not carrying any signal and thus silent and noise-free. Now, if for some reason you want to erase an entire tape, let's say for security purposes or you simply hate the recording that is on the tape and there are some other reasons that I will get to later, you will want to erase it, but what that means is you record nothing on the full length of, of the tape while playing it on your deck. That will take a lot of time, depending on the length of the tape and the tape speed that you're doing it with, but it's not always practical. So in that case, a bulk eraser comes in handy. It can do the job a lot quicker. A bulk eraser also uses a strong alternating magnetic field to erase a tape, but its field is a lot stronger than that of the erase head. A bulk eraser can erase the, an entire section of tape at once, when you point at it. The effective area for this bulk eraser is just about a bit larger than the bottom area over here. It varies with the type of bulk eraser that you have. So when I go over all of the surface of the tape a few times with this bulk eraser, it will be completely erased in a matter of seconds. Well, at least that is the theory. You will also understand now that you will have to keep your other precious tapes, the ones that you really want to keep, and your expensive calibration tapes at a safe distance while you are bulk erasing, like meters away or more, or they will get affected. The duty cycle of my device is one minute on and five minutes off. What does that actually mean? Well, this device generates such a powerful magnetic field that internally it gets very hot, to the point that it can't get damaged. So after every minute of use, you will have to let it cool down for five minutes. Now I'm going to show you how it's done, but uh, more importantly, how it is not done. First, this is the tape that we're going to be working with. The tape is Agfa PE39. It's long play tape, 35 micron thickness, a fairly cheap plastic reel. This specific tape was introduced in 1980 and it's a fairly good quality regular tape. It has a very smooth surface, it's non-back coated and it does not shed at all. I'm very fond of it because uh, <laughs> I have lots and lots of reels of this tape. It's nothing fancy, it's reasonably modern high output tape, nothing great, nothing bad, just good tape. Here is a sample of what is recorded on it.
here all alone. Now I will show you the effect of a bulk eraser on this tape. I will move the bulk eraser across the tape once, like this. And I will not cover the entire tape, so I'll just do this. And uh, remember the magnetic field generated is, is in this area, so we probably get a strip that is wiped across the tape. Well, we will see what happens. Here we go. Now, let's play the tape. Well, as you hear, um, part of the tape is erased, but a lot of the audio is still on the tape. It's because we were only partially erasing it. So now we're going to try a second time and we're going to erase a lot more of the tape. So now I'm going to erase it a little bit better. Well, a little bit better. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do it almost perfectly. But we'll see how far we get. Okay, so you heard that there is still a, still a bit of a residue of signal on the tape. You still hear some audio. It's probably because we missed the spot. We didn't bulk erase it uh, good enough. We didn't erase it long enough, probably. I'm going to do it again. And this time, hopefully, erasing every last bit of the tape now. I'm doing a full erase. going in circles across the tape from the outside in but you can also do it from the inside out just as long as you make sure that you get every spot and then finish in the center I find that easy and then remove the bulk eraser and switch it off I'm going to do the same on this side, just to be sure that I erase both sides, just in case the 
eraser doesn't get deep enough into the tape on one side so hopefully when we play the tape now it will be completely dead silent never switch the bulk eraser off when you're still near the tape because then you will leave a magnetic field and the tape will not be erased The tape is completely silent now, but I did notice however I have a slight hum in the right channel and it's a lot worse on the reverse uh, operation, so that's uh, not good and I will have to look into that later. The benefit of recording uh, on a tape that has been bulk erased is uh, some people say that the uh, tape has less noise, uh, the, the tape noise is, is reduced. But um, another great advantage, and that's probably the biggest advantage, is that if you record on a 4-track deck, uh, as most consumer decks are, 4-track stereo, um, there are, and there are already recorded tracks on the tape, uh, made by another deck, uh, which with, of which the heads do not line up exactly as your deck, then uh, you erase the older tracks but there may be a slight hint of the older recording still not erased by your erase head i'm talking about uh, the height and the azimuth of the uh, of the heads but actually all head adjustments are relevant and it this is not as uncommon as you might think actually it happens between every deck uh, you will still hear remains of the old recording and it's even more true if like me you are regularly mixing tapes between uh, your two track machines and your four track machines where the track layout is different like this now there are a lot more things that you can bulk erase for instance uh, your cassette or your floppy disks or your bank card or your hard disk or your screwdrivers now I was going to explain a lot more about bulk erasing and erasing in general and other types of bulk erasers but uh, this video is already uh, I think a little bit too long so I'll leave it at this. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you on my next video. Bye!